What's up YouTube, Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to be making a spindle clamp for a giant robotic cutter. Uh, some friends of mine down in New York, they have a business and what they do is they take these giant KUKA robots, the big uh, ones you see you know, with welding attachments or that build cars, and they put um, a big CNC, like a CNC mill spindle on them, and they use that to do 3D milling and you know, I guess like 8 axis robotic milling um, using octopus. It's really cool, they use it for sculpture. They use it for uh, making big set pieces for movies and fashion shows and stuff. Really crazy, really crazy stuff. So they just bought a new robot, one of the big crazy KUKAs, and they need me to make a new spindle plant for them. Uh, I made one for them previously, so I'm going to try to make another one. I'm not going to show you too, too much the detail of how I go into this. This is just kind of, if you've never seen a product start from beginning to end, uh, this is kind of how the machining went for it. Um, I don't think I really cut too much out, but I also didn't record any of the programming or anything for this. So I'm just going to kind of show you how it went in the machine and uh, hopefully you guys get something out of this, okay? Let's go take a look.
that has been helpful. Um, you know, if you have any questions about this, you can always email me, letsmachine at gmail.com, all one word. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about, or you have a project like this coming up and you know, you want to bounce something off, you guys can always talk about this stuff. Um, I may not be the greatest machinist on earth, but I've seen a couple things. And you know, if I don't know something, I can definitely try to refer you to somebody who does, okay? Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it as always. If you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. You take care.